In a world where superheroes dominate the cultural landscape and Marvel has taken up a permanent place in the modern psyche, discover a video game that takes this phenomena to its logical conclusion by not just letting you play as the superheroes beating up bad guys, but also take them on cute little dates and make them your best friends forever. Marvel's Midnight Suns If you've been worried that superhero culture and Marvel have become too mainstream and that they won't cater to the true nerds anymore, then you're in luck because Firaxis has you covered with a Marvel game that ups the nerd factor to 11 by not only giving you a superhero game with turn-based tactical combat, but by also making it a card game and a dating sim. A dorky trifecta of qualities that might turn off the average player, but for the kind of guy who was big into Marvel a decade ago, will probably be like Scrooge McDuck diving into a pile of cocaine. In a game that feels like a successful combination of XCOM and Fire Emblem Three Houses, except that I'm pretty sure you don't get to marry Blade at the end. Not that you won't absolutely still try. I'm fixing to do some day walking. Soak in the rich backstory of Midnight Suns as the probably storied comic book series introduces you to a handful of new heroes featuring a couple of angsty teens, off-brand Ghost Rider, and Wesley Snipes who must team up with the Avengers to face a world-ending eldritch threat with a hand-built team of heroes each with individual flavors of power in intricate battles that live up to Firaxis' tactical pedigree that always feel like you're scrapping together a winning strategy against overwhelming odds. Except this time, you won't always have your best move available because you didn't happen to draw it from your deck. A fact they make up for by filling the arenas with garbage that you can spend your extra actions kicking around, giving you a bunch of weaklings to feel good about one-shotting and taking out any chance to miss. Probably because they were tired of listening to people that literally don't understand statistics complaining about missing 90% chance shots. In combat that's surprisingly savage for a game about Iron Man and friends, but pretty par for the course for Firaxis fans. It's hard to get it up for anything less, the metaphorically speaking that is. Become besties with all of your parasocial superhero friends in Midnight Sun's social gameplay, where aside from the standard upgrading of abilities, researching, and mission selecting of XCOM's traditional strategic lair, you'll wander around a surprisingly sprawling hideout full of cosmetic chests and secrets, which never quite stops feeling like you're unlocking stuff in the Mortal Kombat crypt. Go on little dates with your magical buddies and woo them with gifts to improve your friendship level. Then show up for their extracurricular events like you're a centuries-old college student, all while listening to the absolute metric ass ton of dialogue they recorded for this thing. Like, I cannot emphasize enough, if you want tens of hours of not quite Robert Downey Jr. talking about Iron Man's feelings, this game has got you covered. That's the kind of commitment I like to hear. I knew there was a reason I liked you. In gameplay that doesn't so much borrow from Fire Emblem Three Houses as steal from it outright. Not that it really matters, because it turns out, it's pretty fun to go fishing with Wolverine. Logan's real, and he's my friend. So slap on that super suit, shuffle your big deck, and deal for a strange twist on both superhero games and for Axis games that nonetheless delivers on most fronts as long as you're down to get extremely nerdy because your father is absolutely going to be disappointed in you if he sees you playing this. Starring Chris Angel, Mind Freak, Absolute Slampire, Non-Non-Binary, Oops, I accidentally tried to redraw Iron Man cards for the 20th time, Sabrina the Teenage Witch, Superpower, Car. I'm making a note here, huge success. The personality works better with the mask on. Captain Generica, Berserker Barrage, Real Scarlet bitch. The Jolly Green Giant, and protagonist like you, Marvel, Enemy Unknown. Honestly, if you really want to reclaim Marvel for nerds, just make one that's basically Crusader King somehow. No one that doesn't make Excel sheets for fun are going to play that game. Tell us what you'd like to hear in my epic voice in the comments below. When you're going into a game, you're not expected to hit a home run every game. You're just doing everything proper with proper swings. Confidence, a fool substitute for intelligence. Where are my toes? Dear God, I can't find my toes. Oh, there they are. 
The Waffle House has found its new host, Moths Love Dragons. <laughs>